Eight Ways to Protect Yourself from Psychic Attacks as an Empath Have you ever felt so overwhelmed and drained that you simply can't put a finger on what's happening to you? As someone with strong empathy, you may have experienced a psychic attack. But what exactly is a psychic attack? It's that negative message, be it intended or not, that gets shot from one person to another with the intention to create turmoil in your mind or within your family. This kind of message can seep in through anger, envy, jealousy, or other harmful emotions. It manifests itself in myriad ways, physical, emotional, or even spiritual. Despite frequent experiences with psychic attacks, most empaths still struggle with recognizing them or understanding the best way to fight back. It doesn't help that the person behind a psychic attack is often someone familiar, someone close, be it family, friend, or lover. One of the issues with being an empath is the challenge of distinguishing our own emotions from those of others. Striking the right balance is hard enough without the added pressure of psychic attacks. It's no wonder many empaths struggle to identify such attacks. So, have you ever encountered someone who's out to get you, trying to mess with your life goals, your personal and spiritual growth, and overall well-being? If you have, you might have encountered a psychic attack, similar to witchcraft, occultism, and spells. It's often believed that these psychic attacks aren't just aimed at the targeted person, but also tied to the attacker's weak points. Unfortunately, this kind of bullying is all too common. Now that you know what you're dealing with, protecting yourself from such attacks is not just a want, but a need. As an empath, your threshold for enduring psychic attacks is already so low that you simply can't take any more. Anyway, if you enjoy this video, please don't forget to hit the like and share button. It helps us spread the word. And if you're new here, remember to subscribe so you never miss an update. Whether you're an empath or not, these tips can come in handy. So let's begin. 1. Connect with your emotions. As an empath, you're wired to tune into other people's emotions like they're resonating at a frequency only you can detect. You care, you listen, you empathize. It's just who you are. But here's the thing. Prioritizing others over your own emotional needs is like playing a game of Jenga, stacking blocks taller and taller until your emotional core comes crashing down. To build a stable foundation, you need to start with the bricks at your feet. It's crucial to connect with your emotions understand your feelings, and most importantly, fulfill your needs. You deserve to be taken care of just as much as anyone else. It's like being on an airplane and putting your oxygen mask on before helping others. You can't save anyone if you're gasping for air. So, take a pause, check in with yourself. See how you're doing emotionally. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Tired? Give yourself permission to meet those needs first before helping anyone else. Your empathic gift is still there, waiting for you to share it with the world. You just need to make sure you're well-fed and ready to go. 2. Nourish your body and soul To protect yourself from the ebb and flow of emotional energies, you have to start with the basic building blocks, your physical and mental health. Think of it like building a fortress. The stronger the foundation, the more impenetrable the walls can be. So, what does this look like for you? Maybe it involves monitoring your energy intake, whether it's food or the people around you. You need to make sure you're not being drained by others who might be in desperate need of a recharge but don't know it yet. Or how about trying some new veggies or superfoods that boost your energy and nourish your soul? Your body deserves the best fuel for the journey ahead. But it's not just about the body. Your mental health is just as crucial. Start with the basics. Make sure your environment is clean and tidy and create designated spaces for your spiritual practices. Honor whatever belief system you connect with. Maybe it's a religion or maybe it's something more personal like harnessing the power of crystals or the universe. And don't forget to meditate. Even just a few minutes each day can be enough to ground you, anchor you in the present moment, and help you recharge your emotional batteries. 3. Harness your energy. Do you feel like you're always stuck in a vortex of negative energy? Like you're trying to escape a black hole that's sucking you in at every turn? If so, you might be in the presence of energy vampires. 
These are the people who suck the life out of everyone around them, leaving a trail of depleted souls in their wake. It's like trying to recharge your phone with a dead battery. The energy just won't transfer, no matter how hard you try. As an empath, it's your duty to protect yourself from these energy drainers. But here's the thing. It's not just about shielding yourself from the negativity. It's about actively seeking out positive energy. Don't settle for just surviving the day. Thrive by associating with those who bring a positive impact. Surround yourself with people who uplift and inspire you, who challenge and push you to be your best self. At the same time, don't feel like it's your job to make everyone else happy. You're not responsible for the emotional well-being of every person in your circle. 4. Tidy up your life. Your living space is like a reflection of your inner world, chaotic, cluttered, or neat and serene. As an empath, you know that the spaces you inhabit can significantly affect your mood and energy levels, so it's essential to keep your living area tidy and free from negativity. But you can't just rely on the traditional method of decluttering and dusting. You may need to kick it up a notch. Enter crystal cleansing and aromatherapy. These are your secret weapons to banish any negative energies lurking in your home. And if you want to supercharge your cleaning game, add some salts into the mix. These little mineral rocks are like superheroes for your home, working behind the scenes to purify and nurture the space around you. Whether you sprinkle them in water or burn them as incense, their cleansing properties will keep you feeling healthy and centered, day in and day out. 5. Get the help you need. Let's face it, being an empath can be tough, and sometimes you need more than crystals and incense to get you through the day. Sometimes you need to call on the big guns, the professionals who have been there, done that, and got the t-shirt. Don't be ashamed to seek help, whether it's in the form of spiritual guidance, a guardian angel, or a friend who's been through the same thing. Remember, you're not alone in this, and there's no shame in reaching out for a helping hand. But wait, there's more. You don't have to wait until things are really bad to seek help. You can reach out anytime you feel like it, whether you're dealing with a minor psychic attack or just need some extra protection. 6. Rise above the negativity. Okay, listen up, empaths, this one's important. When someone attacks you, whether it's with words, actions, or just plain bad vibes, it's natural to want to fight back, to return the favor and give them a taste of their own medicine. But here's the thing, that's not how we roll. We're not about revenge or sinking to their level. We're about rising above the negativity and showing the world what true strength and compassion look like. So, when someone tries to bring you down, don't replicate their actions. Don't send the same negative vibes or thoughts back at them. Not only does it drain your energy and bring you down even further, but it also doesn't solve anything. It just creates more drama and chaos, and we're not about that life. Instead, stay centered and focused on your own healing and growth. 7. Stay vigilant. We all know that psychic attacks can come out of nowhere, leaving us feeling drained, anxious, and downright miserable. But here's the thing. We don't have to just sit back and let it happen. We can take action and keep ourselves protected. So, how do we do that, you ask? By raising our awareness and staying vigilant. That's right. We need to keep our eyes peeled for any signs of a psychic attack and be ready to spring into action at a moment's notice. Now, I know that might sound a bit overwhelming, but trust me, it's worth it. The sooner we can catch a psychic attack, the easier it is to minimize or even erase the impact altogether. And who doesn't want that, right? 8. Rise above the darkness. We all know what it's like to be attacked by someone, whether it's with words, actions, or just plain bad juju. And it's natural to feel angry, scared, or downright hateful in response. But here's the thing, that's not how we roll. We're not about sinking to their level or lashing out in retaliation. We're about rising above the darkness and showing the world what true love and compassion look like. So, next time someone tries to bring you down, don't give in to the negativity. Don't let their evil intentions cloud your judgment or turn your heart to stone. Instead, send them positive and constructive vibes, even if they don't appreciate it. Shower them with compassion and grace and know that your light and love can make a difference. Remember, the one who always attacks you is the weakest one. They are acting from a place of their own pain and suffering, 
and they need your love and healing more than ever. By sending them light, you're not only protecting yourself, you're also helping them to analyze and contemplate their own dark intentions. So, what do you think? Did you enjoy this thought-provoking video? If you have any mind-boggling experiences or peculiar thoughts on this topic, don't hesitate. Share your thoughts in the comments down below. And hey, if you're digging our vibe, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. We promise to keep those informative videos coming. Thank you for watching and stay tuned on this channel. So, as an empath, have you ever felt so overwhelmed and drained that you simply can't put a finger on what's happening to you? This could be a symptom of a psychic attack, a negative message that is shot from one person to another with the intention to create turmoil in your mind or within your family. Typically, this kind of attack manifests itself in myriad ways, physical, emotional, or even spiritual. So, despite frequent experiences with psychic attacks, most empaths still struggle with recognizing them or understanding the best way to fight back. One of the issues with being an empath is the challenge of distinguishing our own emotions from others. It is no wonder many empaths struggle to identify such attacks. So, what exactly is a psychic attack? It is that negative message that gets shot from one person to another with the intention to create turmoil in your mind or within your family. This is generally done through emotions such as anger, empathy, or jealousy. Now that you know what you are dealing with, it is important to protect yourself from such attacks. And as an empath, your threshold for enduring psychic attacks is already so low that you simply can't take any more. It is not just about shielding yourself from negativity, it is about actively seeking out positivity in your life. Here are 8 ways to protect yourself from psychic attacks as an empath. In case you forgot the content of this video, let's summarize this again. First, connect with your emotions. Prioritizing others over your own emotional needs is like playing a game of Jenga, stacking blocks taller and taller until your emotional core comes crashing down. It is crucial to connect with your emotions, understand your feelings, and most importantly, fulfill your needs. Second, nourish your body and soul. Your physical and mental health is just as crucial, so start with the basics. Make sure your environment is clean and tidy and create designated spaces for your spiritual practices. Honor whatever belief system you connect with and don't forget to meditate. Even just a few minutes each day can help you recharge your emotional batteries. Third, harness your energy. Surround yourself with people who uplift and inspire you, who challenge and push you to be your best self without feeling like it is your job to make everyone else happy. At the same time, protect yourself from energy drainers, otherwise known as energy vampires, the people who suck the life out of everyone around them. Four, tidy up your life. Keep your life, keep your living area tidy and free from negativity using methods like crystal cleansing and aromatherapy. Little additions like salts can help purify the space around you. And number five, get the help that you need. Being an empath can be tough and sometimes you need more than crystals and incense to get you through the day. Don't feel, don't feel ashamed to seek help whether it is in the form of spiritual guidance, a guardian angel, or a friend who has been through the same thing as you. 6. Rise above the negativity. Don't replicate the attacker's negative behavior. Rising above the negativity and showing the world what true strength and compassion look like is more important than succumbing to revenge. 7. Stay vigilant. Always be aware of any signs of a psychic attack and be ready to spring into action at a moment's notice. The sooner you can cap a psychic attack, the easier it is to minimize or even erase the impact altogether. 8. Rise above the darkness. Avoid giving in to the negativity of an attacker. Instead, send them positive and constructive vibes and shower them with compassion and grace. This is because the weakest attacker is the one that always attacks. They are acting from a place of their own pain and suffering and they need your love and healing more than ever. 
In conclusion, you can follow these 8 tips to protect yourself from psychic attacks as an empath and remember to prioritize your own emotional and physical needs. Psychic attacks can harm your well-being, making it difficult to achieve personal and spiritual growth. By protecting yourself, you give yourself the best chance to thrive both in your personal and professional life. Well, for now guys, thank you for shining your light into this wild and beautiful experience called life. So keep being yourself, keep growing, and embrace the journey ahead. Until next time, have a nice day everyone.